Now it's time to actually bring our Cur application into live service. That is, we're gonna go into production. We've been in development, now it's time to go into production where real people can actually use this real service. By the time you're watching this, cur.co, cur.co will actually already exist and you could have already played with it. But since we're watching this now, what we're gonna be able to do is actually create every step necessary to launch this on a web service. The service we're gonna be using is Heroku. This is a server, uh, basically a fleet of servers that make it very easy for us to launch our applications. They handle everything behind the scenes to make that happen. Behind Django, behind, like all the servers working together to make sure that our application runs on a very smooth level. Now, Heroku is not the only service that is available. There are definitely other services available, but the nice thing about Heroku is we can get started for free without putting any credit cards in and really just going off of using something called Git so we can actually do some installation process. Now, there's another one called WebFaction. We work with WebFaction and we actually cover on how to launch on WebFaction in the project Try Django 1.8. That is a project that does show you step-by-step -step how to build um, a landing page, and then it shows you how to launch on WebFaction. And we also have a deal with WebFaction that allows you to have two months free. So if you actually go into our GitHub guide and we for TryJango 1.8, you can actually see that we have a deal with them. Yes, it's an affiliate deal, but it works out great for both of us. And you get two months free. It's, it's about $10 a month after that, which is really, really competitive. Also considering how great their support is when it comes to dealing with issues with your site. I've had a lot of experience with them in that case, and that is why they're an affiliate of mine. Otherwise, I would definitely not recommend them. The last one is Elastic Beanstalk or Amazon's web services, Elastic Beanstalk. It is similar to Heroku in the way it works and the way you launch it. It just takes a little bit more um, oomph to get it started. And it's, it's competitively priced to Heroku, but it takes a little bit more, like you have to put in a credit card, you have to do some extra stuff to actually get that part started, or at least that's how it was at one point. And we cover how to do that on joincv.com slash projects, and we cover it in the launching on Elastic Beanstalk project itself. Another one we do is something you might consider is Amazon S3 and Django, so having our static files and our media files stored there. Um, those two things are really useful long-term to getting your project going on Amazon Web Services. But again, we're going off of Heroku. So now what you're gonna wanna do is actually sign up for a free account on Heroku. And then we're gonna navigate to downloading their command line interface. So their command line interface allows us to work with Heroku directly from the terminal, right? Or directly from command prompt, depending on what system you're on. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is, there's a couple ways to actually get here or to this page. Of course, you could type out that domain itself or you could Google command, um, command line uh, interface Heroku and that will bring you to that same page. Another thing that you could do is toolbelt.heroku.com and that will redirect you to this page, not the same page, but this is the install page. Toolbelt is the old URL for where to download their command line interface. And then you're gonna go ahead and pick your system and install it that way. Now, for those of you who want to watch, I'm gonna do the OS X installation process. And then in the next video, we'll actually get this project started in Heroku. Okay, so now I'm gonna actually do the installation process. So I'm gonna go ahead and click and download this OS X installer. Notice it's downloading. It doesn't take that long. It's not that big. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. And this is gonna install a couple things here for us. It's gonna install their Heroku tool belt, but it's also gonna install something called Git. Git is a version control system that we're gonna go into more in a future video. Anyways, I'm gonna install it for all users, installation type. I'm gonna, you know, obviously do my super user password in there to actually allow it to install. Uh, it's gonna run for a second. And there it is, it's all done. So now we are successfully installed. If I hit close, it's gonna ask me if I wanna move it to the trash. Yeah, that's really nice. Very convenient that that's there. Cool, so now we've done everything we need to as far as setting up the Heroku command line 
um, or at least a good part of it. In the next one, we'll actually jump into doing all the things we need to get that app started.